Hey everyone, this is Roscoe, and welcome to part two of the LPS. <laughs> Mega Man X! I was about to say Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic. Oh god, I'm. X Maverick, we're going up against this Spark Mandrill. I'm actually going in weapon. in order of weapon weakness rather than anything else. So yeah, this is a little odd even for me. I'm so used to going to Chill Penguin and uh, Storm Tornado and then to Spark Mandra. <clears throat> There's a reason. There's a lot of unique little things about this game that I believe for the time was pretty revolutionary. I don't know if it's still, if it was or wasn't. I'm not 100% sure. Ow, ow. Yeah. Uh, this part. This part annoys every L gamer of the Mega Man X series. Because it's dark, you don't know when these little... Uh, come on. Come on, a-hole. I know you're there. Show yourself. Ah, God damn it! that happens. <clears throat> and you know it's there. You know it's coming. That's the worst part. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, cut. Yeah. I didn't want you guys to see me grinding back for health. Now this boss is actually pretty, um, I wouldn't say unique or anything. It's that if you have um, the electricity going like I do, it's going to charge up the electrical, it's electrical charge uh, via the uh, plug on top right there. And it's going to shoot out those lightning bolts right there. Now, if depending on which order you go, he doesn't do this. If you have, if you want to storm Eagle first before doing this, I knew he was gonna drop something. So, before doing this, on uh, the po the airplane he's on would crash through the top roof of this building and cut out the power at the beginning, and this guy wouldn't be able to draw electricity. You're gonna see level uh, changes depending on what Maverick order you do. I'm gonna point out what happens, and of course I have to show it off since I have to backtrack since I'm going out of complete fucking order to get the items. So yeah, I'm gonna have to show it. It's gonna be shown off anyways. Yeah, I'm not that stupid. Oh wait. I hate those little rollers. Uh, these turtles just have a lot of health. They're not a th real threat. And up here is a heart container. Now, on the Maverick Hunter X version, uh, you cannot do that little trick. You have to wait till you get a specific boss weapon to get it. Or you do it another way. I think there's another way to cheese to it, but... Now, you see, I was using the dash trick right there because he, he, took, he took a lot more damage this way. Uh, I off-screened the asshole. Sweet! <laughs> and shoot. Ooh, free man, nice. Ow! Son of a... <clears throat> oh, right before the boss door. Now, like Chill Penguin, Spark Mandrill isn't really hard, even without his weakness, which is the shotgun ice. Spark Mandrill will occasionally dash from left to right, slamming his fist into the wall, and if you're stuck on it, will cause a shock wave attack and you will be prone in a sense of word. You also do these electrical balls, but if you have the shotgun ice, I'm doing it wrong, by the way. You should never be able to give this guy a chance. There, you see what I did? This is a stun lock, ladies and gentlemen. This is pathetic. Yeah. And even there, if you were, I were to turn around and shoot the wall, as you notice that once the ice hits something, it shattered into pieces behind it. If I were to turn to the wall and shoot it, that little piece would still freeze up and it still will do the stun lock. Of course, that's more dangerous than just shooting directly at him, which is actually what you should be doing. Even without his weakness, like I was saying, he's actually pretty damn easy. As long as you want, as long, okay, I'm gonna put it this way. As long as you go to Chill Penguin first, every other Maverick is pretty easy because you have the dash boots, which you should not be afraid to use, which is a godsend too. Next up is Armored Armadillo, and I lied. As you notice, we're already at the second Maverick, and we're 
Five minutes in. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go face three Mavericks in one uh, one part. Oh God, his LP's gonna be short as all hell. Now, fun little fact, um, that little large bat right there, we saw a little, sorry, uh, the large bat we saw, if you were to, you can actually grind that thing for health, for, I shouldn't even say health, for a free man. Uh, you know what, screw it. Now, this guy's spikes in front of him will instantly kill you, so just go. Uh, we can't get those yet. Because I don't have the proper upgrade. I'm really going out of order for the quickest way to do this. You know, if you want, if you want to pretty much minimize your backtracking, the best way to go is Chill Penguin, um, oh God, what's Storm Eagle, Flame Mammoth. Then I think it would be Launch Octopus. Oh, God. Launch Octopus. Launch Octopus or this guy right here. Um, Armored Armadillo. Now, cling to the right side of the wall. Fall all the way down. Hold right. Oh, shit. No. Shit. Wrong one. Uh, unfortunately, yeah. Right here. There it is. If you're faster than that thing. You can get this hard piece. If not, uh, having Flame Mammoth's weapon, like I said, uh, coming here after Flame Mammoth is, is even a good idea. Because you get that hard piece and you can get that something else. We'll get it after this. Now, what I was talking about the Adukin, it's right here. Um, if you were to die nine times or restart the level nine times, you would get a Ken and Ryu's Hadouken. And it's the same motion, quarter circle, quarter circle forward, down, down middle forward, and you're actually your X-Buster shot. If it would hit an enemy, any enemy, it is an instant one-hit kill. Now, the annoying thing with Armored Armadillo is that, uh, besides the little rolling shots he does, he has armor, as you guys no doubt noticed. Using the electrical spark right on him, right away, will cause him to lose his armor and have and make you easily, well, hit him. After he loses his armor, you can actually just use the Mega Buster and shoot at him. He he has multiple attacks. One of them you just saw it is actually the uh, projectile shot. The other is actually that rolling attack he was trying to do. He rams into the wall or does like a somewhat figure eight pattern, but he bounces all over the walls and it could change depending on uh, where you're situated and how he starts it. And there's a few things. Now, one thing about this game is that you can actually go revisit the Mavericks levels and get items you missed the first time. In fact, there's a very important item we missed here. <laughs> if you did what I just did and you managed to take a good shot, you can clear your way for your bats just before that thing. Now, climb up. Don't let the spikes hit you because it is instant death. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is a reserve tank. A reserve tank, or a sub tank, I should say, um, is like an extra boost of health. You fill it up or you start filling it up as your health is full when you collect um, pellets for energy. I said to myself, screw it, I might as well go to Launch Octopus now. Um, they fill up automatically when your health is full. By doing so, you have extra energy for bosses or areas that give you a hard time. Uh, it's the equivalent of a uh, energy tank from the original Mega Man series. Ow, I was stupid of me. Yay, water level. <laughs> I love how those things did even go. Oh, not going for that. Ow, that was stupid of me. Ow. 
Yeah, those little horse fish things can be annoying. Now, um, if you had the Storm Tornado, this boss, mini boss, I should say, would be actually a piece of cake. Now, I don't know, Red, I don't remember what happens if he keeps the eye. Um, I completely forgot. It's been a while. I have always had a habit of shooting the eye. So, yeah. Now, that sound you guys were just hearing, like, that's my sub tank filling up. Now, um, if you get swallowed by these fish, shoot and jump. It's the quickest way to destroy them because if you don't, they blow up and they cause damage. Now, this one is a bitch. It's a different color, meaning it's tougher. Um, it has the same pretty much attacks as the other one, but with one new attack. Uh, I don't think I get to show it off because I don't think I completely rape it, but I tend to uh, try and destroy this thing as quickly as I can. This one, instead of just sucking... Okay, I'm going to phrase this as best as I can. Rather than just... Um, sucking in water it can also push the water out going up this little uh, tornado of water will get you that I believe on the other side is where we need to actually go nope there's nothing up here past me next one over there going up here and oh yeah I haven't done this in a while so I'm kind of like uh, I'm out of it <laughs> Come on, and there we go. Now this little uh, carrier kind of thing isn't hard. It will sh bring out those claw uh, enemies that this is the first time I've seen. And its weak spot is well the glowing blue light. It will fire out uh, torpedoes slash missiles towards you. They're pretty easy to evade, just don't get hit. That's pretty much simple. The reason you want to do this is by destroying this, Leads to a little secret passage, and we actually need to come here. Be careful of the spikes, like the original Mega Man. These are instant death. Now, this is a sea. The sea serpent is actually, as you can see, pretty easy. Just down on its back on the first uh, spinal cord, if you would say. You can either shoot the head or shoot the tail to damage it. The rest of the body is immune. Ugh. You know, I was actually kind of nervous there. Oh, I clipped right through it because of the invulnerability frames. Now, because I'm on its back, it can't attack me. Which is what I'm abusing right now. Now, be careful when you land. Because since I'm in the air like that, I won't see where the platforms are. Just, if you're close enough to the right-hand side... Keep heading right, and this is what your prize is. It's a heart container. Now, you've noticed I've been collecting those. Well, unlike the original Mega Man, our health starts pitifully low. By collecting these heart containers, it actually increases our health. And we face a second sea serpent here. Where are you coming at, you bastard? Ah, oh, there it is. Now, this one's a little uh, more annoying because it can go dive into the ground to, you know... Ignore your attacks. Wow, that was pathetic. Yeah, just do what I'm doing and you'll abuse the heck out of it. I believe it the storm tornado or uh, something else is its weakness. Yeah, I was at. Since I'm so close to the surface, it's actually. Uh, Pushing me out of water and causing me to uh, the reaction of jumping out of it. And it's pretty much a home stretch from here. Actually, it is a home stretch because Launch Octopus is right behind those doors. Yay! Oh, from Spark Manjo, we got the electric spark. And obviously, because, you know, Spark Manjo is spark electricity. Um, and from Armored Armadillo, we got the rolling shield. Rolling Shield is Launch Octopus's weakness. If you get to hit the hell, the bastard. Now, he has a few attacks. He has this missile attack, which is the weapon he gives you. 
and he has this tornado attack that tornado attack stay far from it if you have um, I do not recommend actually launch octopus being your first maverick if this is the first time playing the game because as you can see oops um, this is not the first time I'm still having trouble against this bastard the annoying thing is that the rolling shield will get blocked by the missile the missiles will block the rolling shields protecting him from the damage that's what's annoying that tornado attack sucks out your health if you're caught in it he, and he'll regain health so stay away from it like I said chill penguin is your best bet going first now is the easy you get the dash boots and this part soon come down and so join me next time as we take down more Mavericks we got the homing torpedo yay it does exactly what it sounds like don't forget to comment rate subscribe thank you have a good day or night